So our, our whole goal with Virto Education is to help transform higher education. Right? The, the name of Virto, actually the root of it is transformation in Latin. And um, look, our perspective, my perspective is this, and this is where the real uh, passion to start Virto came from. The real mission was higher education needs to change a bit in this country. And the change is coming, by the way. We can get into a deep conversation around how universities mm -hmm. are struggling. They're going to start shutting down, actually. But, you know, the point of higher ed should be how can we create better informed, engaged citizens of our country um, that contribute and that also can get good jobs and be a part of you know, our culture in constructive ways. Mm. And in some ways, their higher ed has, has not done what it needs to do for everybody. I mean, it's especially this gap between wealthy students attending the best schools. Right. And, and right, this yep. access and affordability thing is a big issue. You know, one, one stat there that has been in, both scary to me, but also inspiring the work that we do. So it's quite a stat. Some debate about it, but it's close. Okay. 50% of, of the students at the top 100 institutions in the country. So 50% of the students who are at the top 100 colleges in the United States are from the top 1% of wealth. Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the rich keep getting richer, right? And that needs to change. I think ultimately our, our society is healthier when there's opportunity for everybody. I mean, that's part of the American dream. Agreed. We need to find ways to have everyone have access. This whole idea that, right, we're, we, we're not held back by our parents. The parents can come over. This is what the country is built on. People can come over as immigrants and then their kids have every opportunity that our other kids do. And that was true for a long time. And I think that's not fully true today. And if we don't Agreed. make it true, it's ultimately we are all going to pay the price for it. Everyone, your money or not, should believe in this because the future of the company of the country depends on that. So when I looked at the higher education system and thought these changes need to happen, I thought, well, how can we be, how can we be a part of um, the change in that system? And I was really lucky that I understood the system really well through Go Overseas. Mm. So, so that was the catalyst for it. And, I, and, and, and quite frankly, I feel the passion coming out now, Mitch. I feel it. I feel the passion. I feel it. I, it's, it's evident. Yeah, this is what I'm living every day now. And so, <laughs> so what we really did is, so here's what Virto does. Here's what Virto Education does. We run freshman year in college. So mm -hmm. students can spend their full freshman year, either one semester or one year with us, um, doing their kind of core general ed education curriculum, like what they would do their freshman year, but in a much more interesting way that, is designed to help accelerate growth and independence and emotional awareness and get them ready for college and job readiness and ultimately to succeed in the world, right? This increase of just mm -hmm. grit and resiliency and ability to live independently, which is another whole issue we could get into, like, you know, students not being ready for college nowadays because we protected right. them too much in society in ways that you and I weren't protected as much growing up. That's a conversation we could have if we're interested. It's a whole bunch of big issues here that I love talking about. So <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> so there's, three, there's kind of three main things that we focus on as in the mission of, mission of what we do is the most important thing. Like every single person in the company, we have 50 people in, at, at Virto Education now, right? Every single person cares about this mission and we screen for it with this value-based mission approach. Great. We hire people is, is number one that we give every student that comes through us an accelerated life and academic experience, right? That they're more ready for the world through spending their freshman year with us. Number two, we can actually be a catalyst for them getting into a better school than they would be able to get into directly as freshmen. Mm. Partnerships we have with colleges. I see. So the, the model is that students apply through us, through okay. our application system. We have 26. Before, before they decide they want to go to USC or whatever. Exactly. Okay. We have 27 co partner colleges where the admissions flow to those colleges comes through us. So they don't even need to apply to the college at all. I see. All they right. They're abroad with us doing experiential education and service learning in other countries while they're doing their credit. And then they have this guaranteed transfer to these colleges that we work with. The admission, they don't even need to apply directly at all. And those are great schools like the University of Oregon, the University of Vermont. I saw that. Bucknell, I mean, we're, we have 27 partner schools and we're really growing quickly there with more schools coming on board because they see that what we're doing for students is really improving student outcomes. And that's what education should be about. Like it's supposed to be about improving student outcomes and giving every single 18 college age kid a chance to succeed in life. That's the whole point of it. Love it. Um, Love it. And so then the third part of it is affordability. We're really focused on affordability. I mean, right. the higher system has gotten a bit out of control with pricing. Um, uh, I often make this joke that if an alien came to earth and said, 
tell me about your education system. I want to see how you educate your young people. Um, and we described the United States education system to them. It would make no sense because we'd say, okay, well, our students come to college and they pay for not just their college education, but they pay for sports teams, they pay for research, they pay for all these other administrative things. Sometimes we have museums on campus and lazy rivers on campus and big fancy dorms. And there's all these things that are bundled into education. Actually, so statistics are that students, are, out of what students pay for college, only about 15% of what they pay actually goes to things that, that are for them, their educational experience. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know that. Never heard that stat before. Yeah, right, the other 80 plus percent goes to the things I just mentioned. Okay. And then when we graduate our students now, sometimes the universities even hire them or they go into jobs where they can't even pay off their loans and the salary that they have. <laughs> and then, and then the universities also ask students to give alumni donations. Right. We do it and we do it, right? We actually do it. Um, <laughs> like it's the hold that, that the university system has on the American psyche is amazing. And also it didn't used to be that way. Like even when we went to school not that long ago, um, it wasn't this way costs have increased so much. And we're putting this burden on our 18 to 22 year olds. And then asking them to carry that burden the rest of our life, it has to change. Mm. We, need, we need our leadership to do it in constructive ways that has the students, the 18 to 22 year olds best interest at heart. So that's what we're trying to do. So also, our, we are very affordable because we're not spending money on anything else but education, right? Okay. Every penny that the students pay for us goes to their education and costs surrounding their education. Does it cost more than they, the typical semester? So it's for one semester or is it for the whole year? So they can spend either one semester or one year with us. And, and is the average cost for one year with you less than the average cost for one year at a standard college? It's way more affordable. And way get, more affordable. Okay. You get way more out of it. So our semesters run between $10,000 and $20,000 per semester. Okay. Everything included other than flight. So if you talk about, and then there's a bunch in between. So let's say at a $10,000 or even the $20,000 level, then we sum at 15. That's like a third to half mm. of what college costs. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Now, I mean, a private school now can be $70,000 a year, but even yep. a state school all in um, for tuition, room and board can be forty dollars to $50,000. I'm so glad you're clarifying that because when I did study on you and the company before the interview, as soon as I saw the program, I thought, oh, this is great. This is really cool for these, these young people to go overseas and experience this in their lives before college start starts, but I'm sure this is just for rich families. So that was my immediate thought, right? And so I'm so glad you're walking us through this. Okay, great. Yeah, no, actually we have a, so I'm really glad you brought that up. We have a, a extremely core mission that we, that our, our goal is to have this, our education system, Berto, what we do accessible to everybody. That's so we, great, give, we give scholarships as well. Um, students have access to financial aid just like they would at any college. So, you know, we can take a student who at, at let's say $10,000 for a semester with the aid that they have access to and scholarships that we can give, it's more affordable, not in every situation, but often more affordable than going straight to a regular college. And then they get into a school, back to the point I was making before, having some of those first gen students, underprivileged students from certain backgrounds, that they can get access to a school through us. Mm -hmm. Some of these great schools we work with that they never would have been able to get into directly as a freshman for a whole host of structural reasons I could go into. So then what we're doing is not only are we changing their life through the semester or year that they spend with us, but we're changing the whole trajectory of their life because they're getting into a better school and they're going to have better opportunities for jobs through our system, through the network that we've created than they ever would have had just you know, in the current system. 